In today's video, I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of Zapier. I'm going to show you my favorite Zap and tips and tricks on how to get started from start to finish when creating your first Zap. Let's get started. Now, you may be wondering what is Zapier and what's a Zap? Zapier allows you to automate things and connect different websites and apps together so they can talk to one another. In today's video, I'm going to show you an example of how I connect Google Calendar to Google Sheets, and it's pretty impressive. And you'll learn how to connect your account, your Google account to Zapier and your Google Sheets and Google Drive. So when a new event is created on your Google Calendar, it will send all the event details to a Google Sheet. Here's what that looks like. Right now, I've got a few events on the calendar. So I've got something like brownies. So I've got this event Friday, October 10th through uh, uh, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. And when this event is created, it'll be automatically added to the calendar right here. So we've got brownies and it's on this Google spreadsheet. So what the Zap does is it takes the data from the Google uh, Calendar event right here and it automatically in the background sends it to the Google Sheet and presents that data. So if you want to transmit data from application to application or make an automation, then Zapier is the perfect tool to get started. And all you have to do is just click the link in the description and type in exactly what you want to build. So here uh, you just describe your workflow. So I can say connect Google Calendar to Google Sheets. And then you just press this orange button that says sign up to build. And the best part about this is it works with Copilot. Copilot is like a partner where you can describe the automation or the zap that you want to build, and it'll think about how to build it, and then it will tell you exactly how to build it. So it says that the Google Calendar and Google Sheets integrations are available, and then it checks for the connection, and then it proposes a simple zap solution where it says this is what will happen. The zap will connect Google Calendar to Google Sheets. We can zoom in here and see some more details. The trigger will be when a new event is added Add it to Google Calendar, an action will take place. And that action is the Google Sheets, um, a, a spreadsheet row with the information from the Google Calendar event will be added onto the Google Sheets. So it's super cool. And then it says for the next steps, we can build with the, the Zap Editor. So I can say, let's continue here. And then we'll get a little button that allows us to pop up um, to present with the, the build editor, the zap editor, and then to be able to finalize this. So we can then press this blue button right here that says continue with zap editor. We press that one time and it takes us to the zap editor where it begins to set up this zap automatically. The copilot is like magic. It uses artificial intelligence to build out this automation for us. And in the old days, we would have had to manually go select Google Calendar, manually figure out how to add Google Sheets into it and organize it. But here the zap editor is incredible. It's already built the integration for us with our first trigger being getting the event information from Google Calendar. So it's setting up the zap and that second action there is going to go out and connect to Google Sheets. And I'm going to show you how to connect all the dots here to make sure that this works perfectly for your integration on your account for Zapier when you connect Google Calendar to Google Sheets. Now, the best part about Zapier is you can connect hundreds of different apps. It doesn't have to be Google Sheets. It doesn't have to be Google Calendar. It can be whatever tool that you use that has an API that integrates with Zapier. But in this demo, I'm giving you an example of the Google tools. So you can see here, uh, it's already set up the Zap. I've got my first um, new event when that uh, action is, is triggered that a new event is created. Um, when that trigger is recognized, it's going to go ahead and create a Google Sheet spreadsheet row. So you can see on the left hand here, it says perfect. Sheets 1 is available. Um, it's going through the process and it's automatically building out this for me. <laughs> and it's incredible. And it can do the exact same thing for you. So if you haven't already, uh, for this particular demo, you will need to make a new Google Sheets uh, sheet and name it calendar to Sheets Zap or name it whatever you want. And then you're going to need to put some headings at the top. I've got event title, start time, end time, description, location, and duration. And then after all that set up, um, we can head back over to our um, integration here that we're creating. 
and you'll be able to use the right sidebar to configure everything. So I'm going to start with the first Google Calendar, number one, new event. So you'll be presented with a screen that looks like this on the right hand panel. And the trigger event is when a new event is created on Google Calendar. And then from there, you're going to need to connect your Google account. So you'll press the connect button um, and then you'll log in with Google and then you'll be able to see all of your, uh, your Google Calendar new events that are created. So uh, you, that's the first step. You'll click on number one new event. You'll connect your Google Calendar on the right hand side under account where, where you can see my Google Calendar is connected. And then after you sync those two, you'll press the blue continue button and you'll move on to configure where you'll select which calendar it should use on your Google Calendar account. So we'll keep it the default calendar, then we'll press this blue continue button. And then next up is to test that record. So you may need to go to your calendar after you finally configure everything in the second phase of this right hand panel, and then you may need to make a new event. So that looks like going to your Google Calendar and we can say, we can make a new event and we can call this test and then we can hit save and then we can head back over to our untitled zap and then we can press find new records and there should be a uh, record here pulled on october 9th and then we've got event d here that was just pulled and the summary of that is called test so that's the event that we just created and that shows us that zapier is able to read new events so now it knows the correct trigger when a new event is created it automatically detects it and it brings in that record into zapier and then we'll go ahead and click continue with selected record. So it found the proper one and we are good to go. Um, so next up under con configure, we can select which drive we want this to be in. Um, we've already connected the spreadsheet, the zap integration detected the spreadsheet calendar to sheets zap. If it did not, you'll have to click on it and select the spreadsheet for this. You'll have to select which sheet that is gonna be on in the spreadsheet. And then um, we don't have the spreadsheet set up for time zone, so we'll say false. And then you'll have to come in here and map out all of the different categories. Um, and one thing that you'll notice here is it moved automatically to the uh, Google Sheets integration. If we go back up to calendar and we hit continue, so event D was pulled successfully, we'll continue with selected row. Um, to So now it's on number two. So that was really, um, uh, kind of like a sleight of hand magic move there where it automatically moved us to the second phase. Um, to, and now we're on the Google Sheets section and we're creating the action event. And that action event is to create a spreadsheet row. Now, if you haven't connected your Google Sheets or Google Calendar, um, you're gonna have to, again, connect that. So you'll have to make sure that is connected successfully under account. Then you'll press this continue button and now you'll be able to select your Google Drive, which spreadsheet this is on, the sheet on that spreadsheet, um, and then false for time zones. And then here, you can hit this plus button or you can type a forward slash in. And this is everything that it collects from the Google Calendar. And you'll be able to come in here and select what you want the event title to be. So uh, for the event title, we have summary and we just type summary and then it's gonna input that data there. And then you'll do the same thing for start time. You'll click on start time. You can press forward slash in the text box or you can press the plus button and then find event begins, which is what is collecting from the Google Calendar event. And you just press that. And then you do the same thing for end time where event ends, description, same thing for description. You just use the plus button under each category to select and add in the details that you want Zapier to send from Google Sheets and input automatically into this database. And then same for the database. And then after that, you hit continue and you test it out. So we can test this step um, and it just makes sure everything works, that it sends rows to the Google database and we are good to go. Uh, and then now that it looks like a row was sent to Google Sheets about zero seconds ago, all you have to do is just hit publish and you are good to go. You'll be able to name. It says your zap is ready. And that is how you create this, uh, this integration between Google Calendar and Google Sheets. And it's really cool to see how all that works. So we can come over here, we can make an event, we can call it cake. Now, one thing to note is that it takes, may, it may take up to 15 minutes for an automation to happen. So we input this cake event um, on Google Calendar. 
and then we can come over here and we can see um, what that looks like. So it does take a little bit for it to add on and um, it doesn't happen, you know, at the millisecond but you can see when we added our test events earlier those test events were already synced over to google calendar right here so you can see we added a test event for 7 a.m um, to 8 a.m and then like magic that automatically popped up and we've got our start time and our end time for 7 a.m um, so just like this you know in in about 10 15 minutes when i uh, when this automation and this zap triggers it will automatically go ahead and it'll put the cake um event under event number seven and just like that we'll have all of our data imported from our google google calendar to our google sheets and there we go we have it the cake automation has been placed from the google calendar all the way into the google sheets using zapier so we can see the event title the start time the end time and the duration and it was all created um, using zapier so it took the cake event that was here right here from two o'clock and it automatically added it onto the uh, the google sheet so super cool how you can use zapier to connect everything together and it's super cool to have an incredible automation um, and to connect these two together and this is again what it looks like on the screen this zap is published uh, so that's the one that's automated, but I'll go ahead and click the edit zap button and you'll see what it looks like if we were to finish the screen off um, and to go ahead and hit continue. You can see since it's already published, there's nothing new to publish, but you just press that blue publish button and it will go live. Um, we can also do a test run. So super cool that we got this set up successfully right over here. Um, and this is Zapier. It allows you to connect multiple different um, you know apps and tools together and it's really cool and I'm, I'm excited because this is one of my favorite tools to connect everything together when i have multiple different platforms and using the google platform it's really cool that you can connect anything google related um, and same kind of concept here you can head over to zapier um, right now you can go to zapier and build your own automation i'll go to the home here and copilot is there to help you um, it's really exciting and really cool. So this has been a complete beginner's guide of Zapier, uh, where I've showed you how to build an automation from Google Calendar to Google Sheets using Copilot in an incredible platform. Let us know what your favorite Zapier feature is below or what integration you're going to make with Zapier and connect. And if you like this video, smash the like button. If you're not subscribed, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to figure out when we release our next technology video. We love producing these for you and can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.